Hey, I'm Randy Vance for Boating Magazine. I'm running Monterey's new M45. Now this is the smaller sister to the M65 and you're going to want to check that video out as well. Like the M65, this one's outboard power and this one is Verado power. I'm going to walk you through this boat, the great benefits and features on board, but first, take a look at the results of the performance testing with this engine. Our test boat was equipped with a Mercury Verado 250. Our test prop was an inertia 17-inch pitch, three-blade stainless steel. We had a test load of 340 pounds of passengers and 37 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 49.7 miles per hour at 6,200 RPM. Our time to plane was 4.1 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 7.6 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 31.7 miles per hour at 4,000 RPM while burning 10.5 gallons of fuel per hour. Now one great benefit you get from Verado Power is electronic throttle and shift, power steering, and active trim. The system worked really well in our tests. There's a three-spoke tilt wheel, analog and digital gauges, and easy access to your switching. This boat's equipped with a fusion stereo, and you've got a remote here at the helm, one at the transom walkthrough, and the main control head right here above the wastebasket compartment. This fusion stereo system is powered up for a subwoofer and four speakers on board. The port side console has a large glove box and a convenient place to stow your mobile phones. And in James Bond fashion, it opens up to reveal a hidden compartment, and that's a great place for changing, and this one's equipped with a head. Both the captain and his first mate get custom bucket seats with flip-up bolsters, and they swivel and slide fore and aft for comfortable seating. Cockpit seating includes the port side lounge and this convenient flip-out rumble seat. It opens easily and stows away easily when you need the added cockpit space. To the starboard, you've got an entertainment galley that's got fresh water and storage underneath. You also have easy access to the pull-out cooler under the port side lounge. At the bow, you've got a wraparound seating group with some great convertible options. You can pull out the forward-facing lounges and that opens up the deck to give you aft-facing seats. That's a great feature when you're doing an evening cruise and everybody wants to be in the same conversation. At the center, you've got a step through to the anchor locker, and there's even a boarding ladder in there. Underneath the step, you'll find plenty more storage. Like the larger M65, the engine has been taken out of the compartment in favor of outboard power. That makes this a great storage area, and you've got an electric lift to open it up easily. To the starboard side at the walkthrough is access to your battery switches. Now at the transom, you'll see we've got four cup holders, but these have a secret. They're a mate series rod holder that does double action for fishermen. Now like the M65, the M45 boasts an extra large swim platform, which gives you easy access from port to starboard. It's also designed to allow you to lift your motor entirely out of the water for long-term storage, and that goes even for the engine bracket. You've got a great rumble seat here to watch your kids swimming when you're at anchor, and underneath you've got a ski locker big enough to hold all your boards and skis. With all this power on board and great water sports features, about the only thing I could think to add would be the optional wakeboard tower. I'm Randy Vance for Boating Magazine, and this is the Monterey M45 for 2017.